Hi there, my name is Carly. I'm a minimalist, and because I sometimes struggle with my lifestyle, the name of this channel is The Bad Minimalist. I've already been on YouTube for a while now with a different channel devoted to cosmetics, but I decided to make this one because I pretty much just had a revelation about my life and where it's going and where I actually want it to go, which is in completely opposite directions. When I was up visiting my family for Thanksgiving, I, uh, I was there for over a week. I could only bring a carry-on and a small personal item and it forced me to live even more minimalistically than I was before and it just made things so much simpler. So I guess here we are. We're gonna be documenting my journey through minimalism and hopefully somewhere along the way I'm able to help out you guys. I thought it would be fitting for this first video to explain why I have adopted minimalism into my life because let me tell you it wasn't there to begin with. <laughs> it's not like my family are crazy hoarders but both sides own a fair amount of things, and I went through a lot of my childhood having a lot of things and being a clutter bug, so I wasn't raised in, you know, streamlined, clean line areas, and as time went on, I realized that's more of what I wanted and what I needed. The first reason that I am a minimalist is for aesthetic reasons. I really like clean, simple lines with lots of open space. Also, grayscale color themes with accents of warm wood and marble really do make me feel the most comfortable and the most cozy. And as someone that truly believes that your environment really shapes how you feel emotionally, it's really important to surround yourself with things that make you feel happy or cozy or comfortable. Reason numero dos is because of health reasons. I am a naturally cluttered and messy person thanks to ADHD since I have had, since I was basically hatched. I'm a very disorganized person by nature, and so I'm literally fighting against my programming in order to achieve this, and it makes my life easier once I'm out of the clutter zone. I also have severe clinical depression, and when I'm in really bad depressive episodes, life gets very difficult for me, even performing basic duties that everyone is able to do without, you know, giving it a second thought. Those become very difficult for me, and the more streamlined my environment is, and the easier things are, the easier it is for me to actually function like a human being when I am experiencing an episode. Also not being surrounded by so many things and having things logically flow from one place to the next and you know, step by step, it makes it a lot less overwhelming for me. Nummer drei is for financial reasons. I've definitely become a lot more mindful about my spending since adopting this more minimalistic approach to life. I used to be one of those people that would go out and if they were having a bad day, they'd go shopping, they'd buy things they didn't want in sizes that wouldn't necessarily fit them, but the pattern was cute and it just, it all added up and it really didn't make me happy. So now instead I go ahead and I thoroughly research anything that I want to buy, whether it be, you know, a small thing like a pair of shoes or a larger item item like, you know, a bed frame or whatever. And because I spend so much time pondering and researching the product that I'm going to buy, I end up being a lot more satisfied with my purchases, opposed to one that was just like a snap decision that happened to be there in the moment that didn't actually fit all of my needs. I know that it seems a little counterintuitive to buy more expensive things, opposed to like the cheap fast fashion things for instance, but to me, it's better to buy one investment piece that you know is going to last you instead of having to buy the one cheap thing and then having to rebuy it like every three months. Yeah, it may cost more up front, but it's going to be less expensive in the long run and you're not also going to be creating so much clutter in your house and also garbage to go out in the universe. Another financial reason for minimalism is that decluttering can actually generate some income for you. I have made around $800 selling items that I no longer use, like clothing, shoes, accessories, cosmetics. And I'm like, okay, okay, I can get on with this. This is all right. I'm sure that there's a plethora of other reasons just like buried in my brain why minimalism has become such a big thing to me, but right now they're not really presenting themselves. They'll probably be dug out later in a follow-up video at some point. But for right now, those three are the really core reasons why I have decided to do this over the past year. Welcome to my brand new channel and welcome to 2017. Hopefully it's gonna be a good year and I'm gonna do the best I can to make it a good year for myself and this journey. I'll see you guys next week with the next video.